Yumoja is a goddess that has a low skill floor, but a high skill ceiling. Her damage type is magical, and you can, at a baseline, do a good amount of stuff with her. However, if you get good with her, you can put on a master class in Smite 2. Let me, a Grandmaster Smite 1 player, show you how to use her effectively. Her primary, and some would say only, role is support, but I'm sure someone will come up with something to play her in other roles. However, to keep it simple, I will be discussing her in support, despite the gameplay in this video being solo lane Yumoja. Yumoja's passive is Omi. Omi is a resource for Yumoja that replaces mana. You start with 7 and can earn up to 10. Each of her abilities have a different Omi cost. Attached to this passive are Yumoja's basic attacks. Her basic attacks are interesting because they function like any normal range basic attack. However, if you hit an ally with them, they travel through them and apply a small amount of healing to them. This heal ticks every 0.5 seconds for 6 seconds. Doesn't say how much it heals in the ability description. However, it's usually between 1 and 6 HP. One more thing I want to clarify is that Yumoja's abilities don't have a traditional cooldown. All that is stopping her from casting infinitely is her Omi and her animations for casting. Her cooldowns are related specifically to her Omi. Those numbers that you see that are normally for cooldowns are just the time it takes for her Omi to regen. Yumoja's first ability, Bouncing Bubble, or Moonstrike, has two parts. If you cast one of them, the next cast will be the other one. The first part, Bouncing Bubble, is a bubble that bounces twice. This bubble slows enemies before exploding on the second bounce into smaller bubbles that deal less damage than the big ones. Enemies take reduced damage if they are hit by both large bubbles. Allies hit will also gain healing as if they were basic attacked by Yumoja. Moonstrike is the second part of his ability and is a bit different. You will see five circles in a line in front of you. Every one of these circles does damage, however, the center one stuns if it hits an enemy. If an ally is in the center of this strike, they gain attack speed and protections for the next four seconds. This ability also stuns structures, as in towers and phoenixes, for two seconds. This ability costs two Omi. Yumoja's second ability, Mending Waters, is a small rectangle in front of her. She throws this, dealing damage to enemies and healing allies while also providing a shield. This ability also deals bonus damage to enemy health shields. Allies hit by this ability will also gain healing as if Yumoja basically attack them on top of the healing they receive from the ability baseline. This ability costs 3 Omi. Yumoja's third ability, Riptide, creates a water ring that knocks back anyone entering it. Allies travel further and gain protections and movement speed for 3 seconds, the numbers for which you can see on screen. Enemies are slowed for 2 seconds by 10%. If you place the ring at the maximum distance, it reverses the direction people would be sent by the ring. This ring has more uses than just on allies and enemies, though. You can use it on minions to either launch them into towers to speed up a siege, or to stall your own minions from reaching the enemy side of the map. This ability costs 3 Omi. Yumoja's Yumoja's ultimate, River's Rebuke, summons two large walls of water that block enemy movement and projectiles. After a delay, they crash down, slowing enemies by 60% and trembling them. Allies hit by the waves receive healing as if Yumoja basic attacked them and receive the Moonstrike buff. You gain half of your missing Omi instantly, and you gain a regeneration buff. However, this buff is decreased based on how much you restore. The wording of this in the ability is kind of strange, and I don't understand it, but I think it depends on how much Omi you restore from casting the ultimate, not restore from the buff that is applied to you. As Yumoja, you want to use your three and your ultimate to limit enemy movement and lock them down, making it easier to connect your first ability. Obviously, keeping your allies alive with your healing in the meantime. This character is loads of fun, and you can really see improvement as you go with her. As for your build, I'll link a website in the description so you can see what the best are building. And if you learned something, like, sub, all the YouTube stuff. Otherwise, peace.